Okay, so this is gonna be a rather different video. Um, this is something I've been meaning to do for a while, give you guys a bit of an update as to what's been going on, why you haven't really seen my face, particularly for the last few months. Um, and really I just wanna kind of open up to you guys a little bit and tell you really what has been going on, why training's been all over the place, um, why the channel's been, I guess, a little bit less like it used to be, and what I see this channel looking like going forwards as well because from my perspective something needs to change um, and I'm not talking about my running actually I've done a number of these videos where I'm saying I've you know with my own fitness something needs to change blah 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 we're talking about the channel here I'm talking about the content that I put out onto YouTube for you guys um, but let's firstly address the elephant in the room a number of you in the comments have quite rightly asked what on earth is going on about the challenge that I set myself last year. So back end of last year, September time, I said that I need to take control of my fitness, take control of my running, and set myself a goal. It was a big ambitious goal. I said I wanted to run a sub three marathon by November this year. So that's my 40th birthday. And that of course had to really start with getting back into marathon shape and then have a good spring marathon and springboard on from there. The spring marathon didn't happen. There's like a spoiler for you straight away. But what did happen? Well, I got a decent kind of few weeks, even a couple of months of training under my belt, saw good progress. But then things changed. Um, I don't want to I don't want to sound like I'm a new dad blaming the baby, because I'm not. I'm I'm it's all on me, totally. But the reality is we went from having a six month old, a six month old who was just getting into sleep and it was all good, to all of a sudden realizing that we had seven, eight, nine month old who was giving me three hours of sleep per night and we hasn't really got a whole load better. So just to kind of hit that really, um, training just didn't happen basically. And I've not been feeling great therefore about my own health and fitness. I mean, the, the, the trend that had gone on for the last couple of years has continued in terms of not feeling great about that. And of course I put out a big, I made a big deal of the fact that I want to make this big change. And quite honestly, there was a degree of shame, a degree of, um, I don't know, just not feeling great about it, knowing that the eyeballs were on me, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I kind of, yeah, didn't say anything about it. I kind of went about my way making videos. And actually, you know what? The scripted videos, which I've done really, really well in terms of, um, you know, people giving me good feedback and people saying that uh, it's really concise, they've been good to make. But I find them somewhat soulless. I don't know about you, but I do find them somewhat soulless in that I'm you know, relying on a lot of stock footage some graphics here and there, but otherwise a script that I put together and voiced over. It's a direction the channel could go in. I'd like your feedback on this. It's a direction the channel could go in, but honestly, I think that it really lacks the opportunity for me to connect with you. So where I was feeling that, that shame and that, that not feeling great about my running, I kind of retreated back into that. Um, I realize now that going forwards, I actually need Yes, to be able to talk about my running on this, this channel. Yes, to be talk, able to talk about my, my health and fitness in general, but I don't want to be, I don't want to come across as a running vlogger, you know, a running YouTuber, someone who's out there with this channel, which is basically you following my progress. I, I, 2018, I ran a, a 326 marathon. I feel like a, as a big guy at the time, 16 and a bit stone, you know, 100 and something kilos. Um, and well, I was about 100 kilos, um, six foot six, you know, 326. I don't feel like I've got too much to prove in terms of that's, that's all right. But I think where my value is for you guys is 15 plus years of coaching and rehab advice working solely with runners. I started working with runners in 2007 and I just want to be able to share that information. So in this place where I was getting frustrated that my own health and fitness wasn't progressing, I was focusing on being a good dad, being a good husband, the things that to me really matter, honestly, more than this channel, I, I'm sorry, but those things, I, um, <laughs> I, I, want to, I want to put those things first and not say, right, I need to become so focused in on my own training and looking like coming across as some particular persona who quite frankly, 
isn't who I am um, on the internet. Whereas I'd much rather focus on the coaching, the rehab, the exercises, all that sort of stuff to help you run better, run stronger, run injury free and lean on that coaching experience. I'm sorry, I've, I've gone off on a bit of a tangent. I've lost my thread, but I want this channel to go back to its original state. I want this channel to go back to what it used to be, like back in 2014, 2015, 2016, where it was literally going through what I know best, the exercise-based rehab stuff, the running training stuff, where I'd come into the studio. I didn't have this studio then, but when I'd come into the studio and I'd show you various different things you can do to improve your running, that's where I want this channel to go. That's what I think I can do best to help you. And it doesn't, this is something I've had to, to have a lot of conversations with myself about. It doesn't rely on my own running to be legitimate in that world. It helps. It would definitely help if I ran a sub three marathon. There are certain people who would say, you're not legit unless you run a sub, sub three marathon. And you know what, for this whole video today, I'm sure there are people that are gonna give me a bit of a going over in the comments. And you know what, feel free, join in because that's what's been going on up here for the last, I don't know, six months, nine months, at least in terms of you're the running guy, but the running's not going good right now. Um, it's, it's frustrating, but I want to get back to what this channel has always been about, which is helping you with your running, leaning on my coaching experience and really giving you the feeling that whatever you're training for right now, you can do it. You can get over the obstacles that you're facing right now, whatever it is with your running. For me, the obstacle right now is fatherhood. And, and quite frankly, I, I actually love the obstacles. So I love the obstacle maybe a little bit more than I love training right now. And that's kind of the, you know, the issue from a training perspective. But I see myself as a lifelong runner. I've said this to a number of people recently, that my view on running itself has changed over time. I've gone from being this kind of guy in his 20s who was all about PBs, PRs, running faster, to now this guy who I'm like, you know what, rolling onto 40, I'm, I know that running is always gonna be part of my life for so many different reasons. There are peaks and there are troughs. Peaks and troughs. Right now, it's an extended trough coming out of the back of, out of the back of COVID where I didn't look after myself into moving house, having a baby, getting married, you know, other focuses. I know that I'm going to come out of that back into a peak time. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not, well, I guess I'm frustrated about it, but yeah, I think it'd be crazy not to be, but I, I'm accepting of it. So I hope that you'll stick with me on this. I hope that you agree, although I'd love to hear your opinions. You know, what do you think about those kind of scripted B-roll type videos? I think getting back in here and just talking to you like a human will go a heck of a long way. Let me know. I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna be a bit different. There'll be some changes around here.